There are living lights in the world that are children of Adonai. They have been entrusted to do the will of God, so the people wake up and pay attention. Along life's journey, many of the children got lost in the luxuries of all the world has to offer. Their lights have dimmed down and the darkness has been moving in. This darkness came in so slowly. It came like a thief in the night and the children of the light that were once fierce soldiers for Adonai, our Father God, slowly became vessels of confusion with a yearning for more of the truth, but a confusion that is masking their abilities. They don't realize that they have put down their roadmaps that Father God gave them. They are no longer following the path that could set them free and bring others with them. Then came the suffering. Oh, what a beautiful tool. What a powerful way to gather back the children of God. Perhaps they will come back to Adonai and remember their true mission. Perhaps they will pick up their maps again and remember that although they are in the world, they are not of it. Some of us will feel the suffering and heed the warnings and pick up our maps, which is the word of God, while others will numb the suffering away through drugs, alcohol, sex, food, and whatever else the demons can use to keep them away from their true calling. Others will stand with one foot in the world and another in the word, unsure of which one they want to serve. God will help them with that. Let's not forget about Lot's wife. Children of Adonai, where do you stand? Repent while you can. Turn back to your God and remember his promises. He hasn't forgotten us. Jesus is coming back and one day things will be made right. Until that time, rise up and do God's will. You win either way when you truly serve the living, holy and righteous God who has lit you up for such a time as this.